come back to my drone force story. Uh, we've just done pre-season and the first half a dozen games, I think, in the Blue Square Premier. I'll take you straight over to the transfers. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of players going out and a lot of players coming in. First of all, we'll start off with the players going out. We've got Simon Clist, Adam Rundle, who uh, left for Nuneaton and Fleetwood. Ben Davis, Alex Nichols, Roy McCauley, Tom James, James Smith and Shane Long all went on free transfers, while John Bennett and Bradley Mason went to FC United and working respectively. So, with all them players gone, I had to bring in replacements. Uh, to be honest, guys, I was struggling to find players because there wasn't a lot in the free transfer market available that wanted to come down and play for Vauxhall. So, I got desperate and I signed... This youngster, Calvin Stevenson, who I will now put in the under-18 squad. As you can see, he's not the best, but he's got a bit of potential and hopefully he can do a job for us if we get desperate. We then signed Kenny Adamson. Again, for the same reason, we needed a left-back. We're desperate, and again, he can do a job. Then we signed Linnell John Lewis, because we need another striker. And uh, he's not bad. He's not bad. He's not a bad player. You know, he's got history. Not scoring goals, but he's got a bit of history. And uh, hopefully, he can do a good job for us up front. Then, sorry. Then we signed Danny Rowe, left midfielder, youngster. He's not bad. Again, hopefully, he can fit into the squad and do it, do us for a season. Then we signed Jack Boyle for the same. Same position, left midfield, which I was struggling to find someone good enough to fit in that position. Um, and if I'm honest, I'll show you in a minute, I don't think I found anyone that can fit in that position. Um, then I got Ellis Plummer, I think this guy is going to be class, left back. Uh, got a lot of potential and he is my starting left back at the moment, if he can remain fit. Then we signed a John... A Jorian John, Jorian John for the right midfield and centre midfield just for backup for Ian Flanagan in case he picks up an injury. And again, he's he's competitive with him, so may get a few more starts than I thought. And Chris Holroyd, again for another striker. Hopefully he can get a few goals for us at the moment. Because I got him just before the season started. He didn't play any preseason games. He's not quite fit. But uh fingers crossed he can fit into this side and hopefully score some goals and play well. So I'll show you what I'm on about. We're struggling, obviously, left midfield. Can't find anyone. We look struggling for that second striker. So as you can tell, guys, it will make a massive effect on us and we haven't had the best start to the season. Uh, after five games, we're on seven points, eight points being needed already and lying 10th. Uh, our media prediction for the season, I think, was ninth. Ninth was it? It was eighth. Oh, shit. So better than I thought, but it's a long way to go, and hopefully players can get fit. Or if better players pop up, I might go from. So anyway, straight to the fixtures. So we had a pretty good season with wins over Tramia, Bury, uh, Cushion, Ashton, and AFC Telford, with draws against Harrogate and Altrincham. So first game of the season was against Hereford away from home, and we lost three 0 Elliot Lee getting. Uh, Hereford off to a flyer after one minute with a goal. Ali Graham getting the second, and that really killed the game off. Uh, Johan Hammer then got one in late, late into uh, injury time after Phil Piggan got sent off. And Elliot Lee wrapped up the points for Hereford after 77 minutes. As you can see, guys, it's not a bad performance. We just can't get the shots on target. They had six shots, five on target, which was the difference. We then played Port Vale and we won 2 0. Goals from Ian Flanagan and Jamil Adam after Lee Collins got sent off and uh, three points that we deserved. And uh, yeah, over the moon with that result. <coughs> Excuse me. We then played Mansfield away from home. Uh, Dominic Knowles getting the goal for him before Jamil Adam scored a late injury time, well, a late winner four minutes before the end. And again, it was a poor game, but we managed to scrape a point from it. So, can't moan. Then we played Eastfleet. Then we went 2 1. Lewis Colden, who 
who I thought was offside, got getting the first goal for Eve Sleep for Dairo. Guys first for club before Joe and uh, Amma Scott went from the corner to five minutes full time to get the winner. And as you can see, probably thoroughly deserved, but not quite happy with the performances yet. Not sure whether it's because of fitness, but we'll f soon find out. There we played Salisbury. Uh, we lost 1 0. Stuart Fraser getting his seventh goal of the season. And as you can see, guys, didn't deserve fuck all anyway, so hey ho. Um, I had quite a few offers for Kim Skrusgund and Johan Hammer by Scunthorpe mainly for both players. Not offering me the money I want though. So we'll see what happens as we are not financially in trouble. But um, if a good offer comes in, I may look to sell. So yeah, guys, that's the start of our season in 2015 with Vauxhall Motors in the Blue Square Premier. Um, Oh, I forgot to tell you, we've also been taken over by another board member, so not a lot's changed, there's no investment and there's no increased loan loan debt, so uh, yeah, fingers crossed guys, we can kick on now and put a challenge up for the title or playoffs again. Thanks for watching and comment, like and subscribe.